I listen. I have no idea what the, what we're doing. I don't know what the bar is. I don't know what we're trying to achieve. I don't know how we know if any of it's working. It doesn't seem that it's made any difference so far. And and to hear, um, do we have Saki today talking about? And I and I saw Chris Van Holland as well. And I've seen other Democrats today. All of a sudden now, the new thing is. Well, we're all going to have to um, endure some, endure more pain at the pump because all of a sudden we have this big collective, all these collective values, as Saki said today. Cut seven. Saki asked about Russian invasion on gas prices. Roll that, Jake. Yeah. A lot of focus on the economic pain in Russia, yeah. potentially, from these sanctions. But what about the economic pain here? Uh, the Russians are saying they think gas prices in Europe are going to double. How high could they get here? Well, I think, again, Peter, and as I said to Ouija, I mean, some of this depends on what President Putin does. So as he is suggesting what the impact will be around the world, it's all based on what his actions are, just to be very clear about and it. So again, I, I guess our policy is going to be that we're just going to wait and see. So we have a wait and see policy, I guess. We're not preemptively going to do anything. We're not going to, we're not going to throw everything. We're not going to, it's just going to be wait and see. You do, we'll react. You do, we'll react. We'll do as little as possible. <clears throat> you go, we'll react. I guess that's the, po I guess that's the policy. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what possibly do we do if he decides that um, he's going to go somewhere other than the Ukraine? What do we think this administration is going to do if he decides, hmm, well, look over there. What is this administration going to do? I mean, I, I really, I, I don't understand what, our, what the stated goals are here and how we're going to achieve them, whatever they are, as little or as big as they are supposed, I don't know. I have no idea what we're doing. It doesn't seem like the two sanctions so far, the pipeline I get, and I think that's good, a little too late, and, and you certainly encouraged, I mean, <laughs> these were in place when you came into office and you immediately took them off and basically let this thing get finished. Yeah. So that, now that, they, now, you know, they just, oh, hey, now you got 11,000 tons in the bottom of the ocean. It's going to be, well, okay, yeah, you say that now. But we're not so sure you're going to stick to that. Again, Ned Price today, I listen to him, and I just hear kind of a lot of, well, these sanctions are maybe just a means to an end, and, you know, you do this, we'll do that, we'll kick the tires around a little bit, and eventually you'll, you know, you, you'll come back into shape, you know, you'll pay a little price on this, and then uh, we'll give you your pipeline back. That's what I hear when I listen to him. I hear no conviction at all.